Before starting this video, I'd love to thank Relable for sponsoring this entire tree series. The placement season is here. I know a lot of you are planning to sit for companies which come on campus. In case you are disappointed that the top startups like Cred, Upgrad, Razorpay are not hiring directly from your campus, there is an easier way to work here. Just register for the Relable test conducted by Relable by Unacademy and you'll get a chance to apply for front-end, back-end and business development roles at India's top startups and unicorn companies. Relable has 1000 plus openings by 50 plus companies and the best thing is it's absolutely free. So please make sure you check out all the links in the description and give the Relable test as soon as possible. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving the problem floor in a binary search tree. What does this signify? Basically, you'll be given a key. Assume the key is given as 7. In this uh, entire binary search tree, you have to figure out which value is the greatest value that's smaller than or equal to 7. I repeat, that's smaller than or equal to 7. So I can say the greatest value that is smaller than or equal to 7 is indeed 6. So I can say the floor, if the key is given as 7, will be 6. Similarly, if I modify the key to be something like 14, which is the greatest value that's smaller than or equal to 14, that's going to be 10. So that's the definition of floor in a BST. I need to figure out the greatest value that's smaller than or equal to a given key. So how do you do that? Very, very simple. Let's. Okay, uh, so assuming that the key has been given as 9, okay. And I want to figure out which is the value that's, uh, which is the greatest value that's lesser than or equal to key. So it's very simple. What you do is you start doing a binary search. You start off uh, at right at the root. That's 10, right? And that's definitely greater than your key. So that cannot be your answer. Okay. So you can keep an answer variable. That cannot be your answer for sure. So what you do is you try to move left because 10 is indeed greater than 9, but you want someone lesser than. So you have to move left. So move left. Over here you have 5. So you got someone who is lesser than 9. So 5 is as of now your answer. Now what do you want? You want this value to be as large as possible. So if you so if you want to make this large, will you move left or will you move right? It's an obvious answer. You will definitely move right. Why? Because if you move right, this answer 5 will increase. Now you have an 8. That's lesser than 9. Yes, that's lesser than 9. So you can take this 8. So answer will be updated to 5. Now, you want to increase this 8 further. You want to increase this 8 further. So what will you do? You will definitely move right. And the moment you move right, you reach null. So you can stop. So ultimately, the answer is storing something as 8. And that's how you get the BST. Just keep on moving, keep on moving in order of increasing this value just try to move in such a way that this value is always increased and whatever is the last answer stored is definitely going to be your floor in a binary search tree so if i discuss the code the c plus plus and the java code are almost identical so i'll be just i'll be just telling you the c plus plus code you're given the root you're given the key very simple you initially store the answer of the floor as minus one if if that's equivalent to key that then there's no need to go left and right you cannot you cannot increase this any further store in the floor and return the floor or you can directly return the root dot val now what if uh, the key that's given to you that's greater than uh, the current root val that you are standing at if that's the case then you need to then you need to increase it and in order to increase it you move right just make sure you store the floor what if it's not then just go left because you need to decrease, you need to decrease, you need to have it under key. Yes, you need to have it under key. So just go left. That's how you can find floor in a binary. So I hope you've understood the entire explanation as well as the code. Just in case you did, please, please, please make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series. Also, if you wish, you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series. Also, if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing because I'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well. With this, uh, let's wrap up this video. Let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye. Take care.